But of our Christ, Asumji and Kao, Catholic Archdiocese of Kumasi Media, Kak Media, and I, yeah, Damasi, Semrebiano, yes, sir, from my mutin, near some Makaba, about your new dear and you know, so. Yes, dear, here, and I say, you may dear, dear, baby, a bravo, Sabia won't say a becantino, or call YouTuber, no, but Kak TV GH, C A K T V GH, now I subscribe, you may dear, be on a one, say a becant, baby, I will be a Facebook, so, sign it here, yeah, yeah, mumu. And also C A K T V. Now I like it. Now I sign follow. Yes, Shama Siasia Ubenya. Yes, C Rosia Ubenya. Archbishop Gabriel Jasia or Notchy or Casa Ubenya. Say yeah, you may dear be a benediction. Your anniversary. You may dear be a parishes. A hoodwa Kumasi. And a Ghana. And we are simple time. We are no cack media. You have a call. Near day in some day. We are at the Abreu and so. In subscribe. Nekoso eti yene neti nyame ne ensu umu na ye insha. Medi no father in manu akubna ifa eje. I'm your communication director for Kumasi Catholic Archdiocese. Kak Media, credible news and true Christian teachings. Let me apologize. Most of our dignitaries came very early. For some reason, we'd have to start now. Our friends from institutions. Wow. Very respectfully, let's be on our feet whilst we also welcome our traditional rulers. Shall we kindly say? Thank you very much. As Marshallans would want to announce our presence, and therefore I will crave the indulgence of non Marshallans to also join us whilst we identify who we are. Marshallans. 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 Good morning. Your graces and bishops. Two for Representative Nana Yangi, Nana Nom, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, invited guests, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you today to the second Marshallan Lecture Series of Council 3, Court 1, Kumasi. This series is organized to persons who have contributed immensely to the upliftment of the noble order. That is why we've gathered here to honor and to talk about um, 
His Eminence, um, Archbishop. Emeritus Archbishop, sorry. Um, the first edition was, uh, first maiden edition was organized in 2019 and it was supposed to be a yearly, a two year program. But due to COVID, we couldn't hold it. And today, I'm super excited that we are all witnessing the second edition of this lecture series. So I'll therefore crave everyone in Dodgers to relax and um, stay glued to your seat because the program outline it's so amazing and so insightful ladies and gentlemen i am delighted to be your mc for this morning my name is sister barbara Osu efriye past noble advisor of court number one and i'm doing this job with brother bernard Osu apia kubi the secretary of knights of Marshall council free kumasi let me quickly announce that if you would want to use the urinal, please, those of us who are, especially with our dignitaries, would want to use this exit, the door here. Immediately you exit, you turn right, then you have to wheel to the right again to the registrar's end. The males are at the right side and that of the females are at the left side. And for the others, you can also climb upstairs and descend downwards from the main entry. You can also use that washroom. Thank you. Then again, I would also want to inform you that this very program is being streamed live on Facebook. And therefore, I would crave your indulgence wherever you are seated. Just as my sister said, please, let's take and stay. We wouldn't want people to be moving in and out. That would mark the beauty of this whole program. So we are craving your indulgence to be up to the task this very morning whilst we enjoy this very program. Thank you. kindly ask um, those sitting at the back to kindly come forward. Okay. Okay, so we'll, ask, we'll kindly ask you to be on our feet uh, whilst we sing Old One to invoke the Holy Spirit in this room. Kindly be on your feet. Come Holy Ghost, send down those be one, two. Come Holy Ghost, send down those beams. Those beams, Holy Ghost, send down those beams. Those beams with sweet lift flow inside. Let streams from thy bright throne above. Oh, come thou fervor. Oh, Vepo, who come the source of all our stores. Come fill our hearts with love, our hearts with love. Come fill our hearts with love, our hearts with love. Oh, come the source of all our stores. Come fill our heart with love. Those beams, Holy Ghost, send down those beams. We swiftly flow inside, let streams from thy bright throne above. Oh, come thou Father, oh, come the source of all our stores. Come fill our hearts with love, our hearts with love. Come fill our hearts with love, our hearts with love. Oh, come the source of all. Our thoughts can fill our hearts with love. Uh, Amen. Let's keep standing as we invite Re Sir Knight Brother Reverend Father James Paul Mensa to open the program with a prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Dear God, we thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives. 
Thank you for your goodness and for your blessings over us. Thank you for what you have accomplished in us. Gracious God, on this Memorial Lecture Day, we again remember and give thanks for those who have given their lives in the service of our country, the church, and humanity, especially your own son and priest, Archbishop Emeritus Peter Kwesisapon. We welcome you among us and celebrate the gift of life you have lavished upon each of us. We ask that you would open our ears so that we may hear your voice in the words of the speaker. Open our minds so that we may receive your eternal wisdom. Open our spirits so that we may know your leading and guidance. And open our hearts so that we may receive your wonderful love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who reigns and lives with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. All right, let's be seated. Thank you very much, Sir Knight, but I went further for the prayers. Just before we do a formal welcome, this program has become successful. We are meeting here today because some individuals and some corporate institutions had to anchor us into making this program a reality. We want to acknowledge them just before we give you the official welcome. Sister Barbara, can you do that for us? Okay, so um, we have worthy brother Samuel Zan Akufo, Akologo, worthy brother Zauku Lashios, worthy brother Kingsford Atta, Mr. Anthony Sand, Mr. Clement Akapanu, brother Clement Efriye Opong, brother Honorable Christian Edu Poku, Sir Knight, brother Sir and respected lady sister dame Ousu Osei Wusu Osei Wusu answer and we have we also have corporate bodies who also helped us and we have cast products limited mediator royal hotel Ruma fertility and specialist hospital then we have our, our very own court one kumasi also supporting we want to say a very big thank you for your support. Without you, this program would not have come on. We are really grateful. Right, so without wasting my time, um, I would like to call upon, should I say, permit me to say, the Chief Executive Officer of the Knights of Marshall Council Three, who happens to be the Grand Knight, Brother Peter Asari Opoku Ajman. Please, with a round of applause, let's welcome the Grand Knight. Thank you very much, my brother MC. I'm here to deliver a welcome address, and uh, I'll begin from mentioning the dignitaries' names, and as well put up my best address to co cooperate the program. Senate Brother Fosiaba Mesa Badagini, the Chairman of the Letter, Your Royal Majesty Representative, Nana Yangini, Your Grace Metropolitan Archbishop of Konangumampon, he's not yet here. He's, oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Your Grace, 
the Archbishop Emeritus of Kumasi, the one we are honoring today. Reverend, Right Reverend Monsignor Professor Stephen Team, guest speaker, we are substantive past Supreme Knights of the Noble Order of Knights of Marsha, substantive past Grand Ladies of the no Noble Order of Ladies of Marsha, Your Excellencies, Honorable Members of Parliament present, Minister of State and Government officials present, Right Reverend Monsignors, very reverend fathers, reverend sisters, distinguished investor guests, brothers and sisters, families, friends, and loved ones. Finally, the much anticipated day has arrived to put an end to our eager waiting and talent preparation for this lecture. With a great pleasure and satisfaction, I stand before you to deliver my welcome speech for our most awaited lecture. It is indeed a pleasant morning in the midst of a great accomplishment and women of Madragana, all soaked in jubilant mood providing this enthusiasm and spirit of togetherness. Saying and brother Chair, it is a day to rejoice because we will recall together a lot of touching moments as we lionize a, a person of diversified capabilities. The Mass World Lecture Series has come to stay. It is a, it is a carefully thought through platform so we true men and women, people who live their lives for others and to be elogized. It is an avenue for young men and women to embrace the path of accomplished senior citizens and make affirmative actions leading to greatness. Send our brother F.M. Banagini, today, as we begin the second lecture in the Bayana series, Nana Sapankuma Nkuma, the Archbishop Emeritus of Kumasi, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Kwesi Sapon, will be on our radar. Senites, today as we begin the lecture, the second lecture, we are privileged to have one of our own, a great man of God, a teacher to lead the dissertation of enormous days of this distinguished Messianic personality. It is a singular opportunity to welcome in a special way His Royal Majesty or two for representative. Nana Yai. Kohi, we are blessed to have you. We are privileged this morning to have amongst us the Archbishop of Metropolitan Archbishop Kumasi, a powerful delegation from the Catholic Bishop Conference, and your Lordship, you are welcome. I want to seize this opportunity to welcome big news from Supreme Council and Grand Court of the Knights and Ladies of Marsha, my bosses. It is wonderful seeing you made it to this program. The Vice Chancellor, the Registrar of the Business School and President of St. Peter's Cathedral Basilica, Nananamu here present, the clergy, religious men and women, schools, colleges and hospitals, company councils and courts, societies of St. Peter's Cathedral Basilica, the media, all present here, you are all welcome to this very function. I would like to thank everyone for giving me this opportunity. Please sit back and observe this lecture in good shape. Thank you very much for listening to me. Please, let's give it up once again for our Grand Knight, Brother Peter Asari Opoku Ajman. At this very moment, music, they say, is the food of the spirit. 
we would want this very special group which has been in existence for over 50 years what makes it very interesting is that the very person for which we have all gathered here is the founder of this very group he would like us to call them the bishops group if you are ready with a round of applause let's welcome the bishops group Hello. Hello. give it to them. <laughs> Thank you very much Bishop Group for that awesome song. It's time to know our chairperson and the dignitaries present. So on this note with a round of applause we, let's welcome respected lady Matilda Quartin and Sir Knight brother James Boer Mensa as they mount the podium. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to be here this morning to introduce the chairman for this great program. Ladies and gentlemen, after a diligent search for the best and suitable personality to share the, this August program, the mantle fell on one of our own who has distinguished himself as a real Sir Knight and a proud Marshallan. This personality is first and foremost an educationalist. He holds a master's degree in international affairs and also 
a degree, a master's degree in political science, all from Ohio University, United States of America. Additionally, he holds a diploma in social development from St. Francis Xavier University, Canada, while he possesses a bachelor's degree as well as a diploma in education from the University of Cape Coast, Ghana. He has several certificates from institutions such as London Business School, Oxford University, and Harvard University in the United States of America. From his primary school days to date, he has been engaged in the work of the Catholic Church through Pas Romana and other organizations such as the Lathy Council. He has served as the national president of Pas Romana from 1982 to 1984, the vice president of the Eswar World Federation of Catholic Youth in 1983, the chairman of the Ghana National Catholic Youth Council from 1978 to 1983, and secretary, Justice and Peace Commission of the Catholic Church in Ghana from 1990 to 1985. In 2005, he was honored with the Papa Award of the Knight of St. Gregory by the great Pope John Paul II. He has been the president of the Forum of Papa Knights and Dames in Ghana from 2012 till date. He also served as chairman of the Cardinal Derry Foundation from 2013 to 2017. In his capacity as chairman of the foundation, he raised funds and helped with funding strategies for the beautification process of Cardinal Derry. His experience in all these areas has enabled him to become an ardent student of the social doctrine of the Catholic Church. Consequently, he has many publications in this subject to his credit. Prominent among them are an approach to church development, work in African rural areas, a practitioner's view, 1996. The Catholic Social Doctrine, Some Perspectives, 2004. And musings about the Catholic Social Doctrine, 2018. He continues to serve the church in various capacities and has been the board chairman of Charitas, Charitas Ghana, since 2022. He has also been serving as board member of the following organizations Quality Insurance from 2013 to date, Catholic University of Ghana from 2013 to date, Spiritan University College, Kumase, from 2017 to date. As an educationalist, he has taught in several institutions at various levels of education and was awarded a fellowship of United Kingdom's reputed Society of Business Teachers in 1997. Pez one to his desire to help the needy in 1992, he founded the Sankofa International, a development organization with the mandate to promote education of Ghanaian girls and women. Many Ghanaian girls and young women have benefited from Sankofa International's overseas and local scholarships programs. He has been a benefactor of a 100,000 Ghana scholarship program at the Catholic University of Ghana a 20,000 scholarship fund at the University of Ghana, Ligon, and the Fusuaba Female Scholarship Fund since 2007. He was also a trustee of Otun Force Educational Fund from 1999 to 2004. In recognition of his efforts towards the development of education, he received a citation by the University for Development Studies, Temale, Ghana in 2010, 
a certificate of recognition by the University of Cape Coast in 2010, a citation by the Forum of Heads of Girls Senior High Schools in Ghana in 2008. He was appointed a member of the FAO Advisory Committee on Paper and Wood Products and served as resource person in FAO African Program, among others, a position he held from 1997 to 2010. Subsequently, he received an FAO letter of recognition in 2012. In 2001, he was appointed the first administrator of the Ghana Education Trust Fund, GET Fund. He was the chief of staff at Menshia Palace from 2009 to 2011, where he provided executive duties, among others, for the Asante Hine. As a member of the Noble, of, uh, Noble Order of the Ladies of Marshall, as a member of the Noble Order of the Knights of Marshall, he was the Grand Knight of Council Number no. 3 Kumase in 1996, a position he held with distinction. In addition, he has served in various capacities in the Noble Order, including membership of the Standing Committee of the Supreme Council as a Supreme Councillor and has risen through the ranks to become an honorary past Supreme Knight. He is married to one of our own most respected lady, Sister Charity Mensah Banahine and is blessed with lovely children who are all doing well in their chosen areas of endeavor. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observe. With a resounding applause, the chairman for today's program is none other but our own Sir Knight Brother Sir Fuswaba Banahine. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give it to him. Thank you very much. As we have graciously introduced our chairperson for the occasion, shall we also acknowledge with a resounding applause the representative of Otufo Osei Tutu II, the Asante Hene, Ohineba Boachieje Hiahene. Shall we acknowledge him? Shall we also acknowledge Most Reverend Joseph Osebonsu, our Supreme Spiritual Director of the Knights and Ladies of Marsha and the Bishop of Kolongo Mampol Diocese. And shall we acknowledge Very Reverend, soon to be invested as a Chaplain of the Holy Father somewhere in January next year. And now, Reverend Monsignor Dr. Louis Kofi Tufour, the Vicar General of the Catholic Archdiocese of Kumasi. Shall we acknowledge the Reverend Monsignor John Opokuajiman, our Supreme Chaplain of the Knights and Ladies of Marsha, and the rector of St. Gregory the Great Major Provincial Major Seminary. Shall we also acknowledge Reverend Monsignor Mary Anthony Amponsapuku, the chaplain of St. Patrick's Nursing and Midwifery of Enso. Shall we also acknowledge very Reverend Father John Amankwa, the president of Kumasi Dazan Priest Association and the general manager of Catholic Units. <laughs> Shall we also acknowledge the presence of very Reverend Father Dr. Stephen Jantua, a lecturer here at KNUST, and he is the vicar for priests and religious of the Archdiocese of Kumasi. Shall we uh, acknowledge the
presence of all our priests here, can you wave to us, wave to us. And then our reverend sisters too, can you wave to us? We welcome all of you. And now, representing the noble order of the Knights of Masha, and representing the Supreme Knight, is yet to be invested as a say, paper night somewhere in December and a substantive past supreme night say night brother say Ernest Amuako Ahim <laughs> and also representing the grand lady of the ladies of Marshall immediate past grand lady representing the Grand Lady is most respected lady, Sister Dame, Dr. Agatha Akia Boni. We also have the immediate past Supreme Knight, Sir Knight Brother Charles Cobb. We also have in our midst most respected lady, Sister Dame Theresa Pobi. Again, most respected lady, Sister Margaret Gazy and Sylvie. All of them substantive past grand ladies. We also have Sir Knight Brother, Professor Solly, the Vice Chancellor of WA Technical University and uh, the National Chairman of the National Catholic Lady Council of the National Catholic Secretariat. Again, shall we also acknowledge the presence of worthy brother James Ekoru, the Supreme Secretary. And shall we also acknowledge his counterpart of the ladies, respected lady, Sister Ruth and Nim Srebo, the Grand Secretary. They are seated together. We also want to welcome and acknowledge all our guests here present. St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, shall we acknowledge you, raise your hands. Members of the Christian Mothers Association, if you are here, yes. And then shall we also acknowledge students from St. Patrick Nursing and Midwifery. Shall we see you? And then students of St. Louis College of Education, if you are here. Shall we also acknowledge all other schools, the students representing Prince of Peace, St. Hubert Seminary Senior High School, Opokuari School. And shall we also acknowledge Nananom, who accompanied our rep of the Otu for Nananom, you are also most welcome. To all our past Supreme Knights, Past grand ladies, worthy brothers, respected ladies, brothers and sisters, let us see your hands by waving, including myself. And uh, our junior brothers and sisters, shall we also see you by waving? We, yes, so we welcome all of you and thank you. I think we can once again do better by giving them a round of applause. It has been a tall order with our dignitaries right here. I am so elated to be a part of this very program because we are here to learn, 
from such distinguished personalities. If you heard the introduction of the chairperson, you could realize that indeed this man is an accomplished person. I was taking a cue from it and the lesson that I learned is that indeed we also need to push forward and the sky is our limit. At this very juncture, once again, we would want to enjoy some melodies from the bishops group before we listen to the remarks of our chairperson. With a round of applause, let's welcome the bishops group. Thank you, thank you. Let's give it to them. Thank you for this wonderful melody. And um, we want to inform you that this program is being streamed live on uh, CAC TV, YouTube, and CAC TV, and next Facebook. At this point, we would invite our chairman to give his remarks. Senate. So let's welcome him as he mounts the podium to give his remarks.
Nana here here. Emeritus Archbishop Sapo, our distinguished guest speaker, Most Reverend Otse Bonsu, Past Supreme Knight Sir Ernest Amakohiri, Nananum, ladies and gentlemen. At this auspicious occasion, it may be very necessary for us to cast our mind back to the times that we have come to know the person for whose sake this function is taking place today at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I think it is not very easy to describe the character that makes the person Archbishop Emeritus Sapon. Many who attempt to do that fail because there are always things that we forget. And this points out to the fact that he's a man for others, a man of many parts, and he is a man for our organization. He has known the Knights of Marshall ever since he became a bishop, and even before that. And for me, my duty this morning is to just ask you to cooperate with us as we run through the program. And I do hope that you keep yourself in good shape for this. We are already late and the invited guests were here on time. But those of us who have invited them were late. But they are able to bear with us because of the kind of respect that they have for our organization. The person who made the introduction forgot to acknowledge the presence of the, the Kura group. I want to take this opportunity to, to recognize your presence because you are a very distinguished group also here. Today's function, as it has been told, is the second of the Marshallan Lecture Series. The first one was a successful one and that has given the knights and ladies of Marsha the opportunity to continue with the second one. The Grand Knight and the Noble Lady of Court One, Grand Knight of Council Three, have worked very hard to put this together. And we are most happy that the honoree Emeritus Archbishop is able to join us. I understand this morning he was even at the hospital, but he's been able to come. We thank him very much for that. <laughs> Most Reverend Osebonsu has to travel from Ampon this morning to join us. I think it is a thing we have to do. Similarly, Sir Enes Amakohin has to come all the way from Accra to be part of this. Because he says he's not seen the Archbishop for a long time. I hope you have seen him today and you are happy. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, you have among us priests, 
some of them have been introduced to you. We thank you also very much for being here to listen to what the guest speaker is going to tell us. Please be attentive and let's listen to him because there's so much good that you hear about the Archbishop from that speech. I am very confident that we will end this function on a very positive note. May God bless this afternoon. Thank you. All right, so let's give it up once again for the